Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is MasterS986. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are back in American Truck Simulator. You guys might notice that I've been gone for a little while here. Actually, had some problems trying to get stuff working, but we are now operating at 100%. And I'm going to explain that once we get going. As you guys can see, we've got the UPS Freightliner, or not the Freightliner, the UPS Volvo truck for the freight as well as the UPS trailer here. We're doing a small run here today, so we're going to hop up inside the cab and we're going to get track IR running and that's actually pretty decent. We'll center back out and let's get the engine fired up. Uh, as I said, it's a pretty small run going out of Page, Arizona. We're just going down to Flagstaff, so it's nothing too major. Let's drop this down here. I have a first truck. Of course, that would be my luck. Starting off, starting off back in America Truck Simulator, nice and strong. Hitting that right off the bat. We're starting this off really nice and strong here today. There we go, now we're going. I'm gonna have a 500 horsepower Volvo engine in here, so it is gonna be a little more realistic to what someone at like UPS would have. They're not gonna have an overpowered engine. And of course there's a red light. And you know what, I think those cars are gonna come straight. It might be easier for us just to hang a right yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, because we're not going to get out in time. So we're going to hang a right. Actually, got it right there. I hate this truck. We're going to go right. I don't got enough patience for that. Nope, we're... And we are starting it off hella strong. Here, we're going to back this back up in there, because there's no way we're getting that turn out of there. So we're going to have to go left. This means we're going to start working our way into traffic here. And hopefully... Oh, come on, SCS. They're at least letting us go. There you go. Once we get going, we should be pretty fine here. And we're in the middle of the intersection, so we're going to go. But we are officially back here and we are running at 100%. We are now running 4K and uploading to YouTube in 4K. Which is going to be pretty nice here. Finally have good content getting pushed out to you guys. It was a major battle trying to get this all set up. And we are now running two official workstations. Which is going to help us get upload in the 4k for you guys so we're gonna have a pretty interesting time here it does work perfectly now we're not having any problems no lag when we first upgrade you gonna come to a stop when we first went 4k everything was just so bad I'm trying to get it working but it is running fine for us you guys can tell I'm definitely rusty. But we are now, as I said, we're running 4K, so we're finally back in that. Absolutely missed getting behind the wheel. Having fun with it, but... Can't even downshift it today. But we are running smooth. I haven't had any problems in testing. Just a matter of trying to get back into remembering how to shift all these things. But we are running smooth. We're doing a small short run here. Just get back into the ability of doing everything here. I just want to go in the fifth gear for me. And I have none of my high ranges, so that's good to know. Which 
things. We have four. You know what? Did I choose an 18 speed? I had to. You know what, now that I think about it, it might be a 13 speed, which means we might have 4 be our highest range. I don't know. Because running rate, yeah, I, I think that's our that's our problem. We should be fine here, though. So I guess we're only going to be in the 1 range. But we are doing absolutely fantastic here, getting back into the game. Getting used to everything. Here, but this is actually a nice truck. It's an in-game truck with the skins. I am looking to try getting a pretty decent library to go with it. And I sat there, I was actually looking to get back into film, and I'm like, well, I want to do UPS or FedEx. It's one of those things I want to do. And I found this one, I'm like, yep, it is what we're gonna have to use. Can't really shift over there, but. Everything just looks so much better in 4K here. We might have to turn down the brightness just a little bit, trying to get used to it. But overall, it is absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to bringing this to the channel. Bring back a lot of new videos to the channel here. We're gonna bring a lot more game content, a lot more vlogs. We're running. We're running 100% here. But we're just moving around here without a problem. And I absolutely love this truck. It's trying to. Usually we're doing the cabs and we have a long trail uh, axle length there, but this is actually a nice short day cab. Which makes it just so much nicer to drive. It'd be nice to have a good Jake brake, but it's not one of those things that's killing us to not have. But as I said, it is the SCS truck and trailer. We'll get an upgraded engine pack to it here. We're going to bring this on here. Many of you guys might wonder. I said, I don't actually use packs. I don't hack into the game, but the, you know, the files and change the money that from the start of this uh, save game was brand new. I built everything up. And the one thing that I actually enjoy doing was I picked up a, it was a bank loan extension because SCS only caps you at, I think it was like 500000 that you can have for a loan. And so I sat there and picked up the bank extension loan and it extends the, you know, how much money you can borrow. It gives you, you know, bigger loan options. In that we were able to sit there. I had, I think at that time, two garages that I've, you know, earned up between, you know, runs and the drivers and everything. It just built into, you know, five garages now, all filled up with trucks and drivers. We're actually looking to get a sixth and the seventh garage here and actually start paying back the loans. So actually, I might show you guys, probably in the next video starting up, we'll do a company showcase. But we are just running here. Ever so smooth, ever so nicely. If you ever see me do my head like that, I'm always looking over at my second monitor for the second system that we're running here just to make sure everything's running smoothly. Because I remember the first test that I ran with 4K with the recording. I sat there, I wasn't paying attention to the left monitor, you know, or the right monitor, I was only focusing on the gameplay. And I'm looking at it at post, and it's like it's all skicky and laggy and you know jittery and whatever you want to call it. But we are now running an official setup. Now we're actually running a high quality. I don't want to say high quality and everything, but it was a lot of things I wasn't expecting to run here. I'm actually gonna get a thumbnail because this actually looks pretty amazing here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a thumbnail and I'll see you back in a sec. But yeah, it's actually, it's nice being back in America Truck Simulator. It's nice getting back into the recording of everything. I absolutely love and paying out loans. Um, no, I actually, I love, you know, filming. It's just, I love being in front of the camera or the computer, just filming 
not so much of a fan of editing. I wish I can actually have somebody that can have edit, but it's one of those things that you, you know, I have to do. You know, I end up, you know, kind of get used to it. I actually enjoy doing the LSBDFR series. You guys noticed the last two videos that were LSPDFR, they were, you know, free. I took the time into actually editing them to kind of make it more like a, uh, like a TV series. And yeah, we're going to do our best to get there in time. And we are going to slow down a little bit. You're coming up to the drop-off point. Let's downshift it. Let's get to the standard SCS Jake break. I told you, this thing just sucks at trying to accelerate. I have to like feather the clutch and feather the throttle, so I think we're just going to crawl up here that we don't have to come to a stop. Like, same thing with reverse, I have to like feather the clutch and throttle at the exact same time just to get it going. Keep a little bit of torque in there just to keep it going. Hopefully like those green yet. Oh no, it's turn only, so we're gonna have to come to a stop. And we're actually rolling forward with the I guess I'll sit down on the slope. We got FedEx rig up here on the right. We're doing the 53 foot trailer, so it's Makes everything quite interesting trying to get used to. And it's going to be right over here on the left, yes. Alright, this isn't a, uh, actually, I kind of hate this drop off facility because it's always so tight with the 53 foots. But we'll, as I always, we'll do our best. I am in no way a professional at American Truck Simulator nor truck driving. I merely do this just because I love the game. And we're going to, we'll try parking it back again because it's just going to be right over there. So it shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Okay, get over those speed bumps. And I, if I remember correctly, I hook it in hard. But you also kind of get used to how these drop-off facilities are. Hook it in hard, I pull it out kind of up into this corner. Straighten you out, and then I should be able to run for a little more. And if I keep myself from completely stalling the engine. Now, some people probably have different methods for backing up the trailers. I actually. Uh, I've heard at some point someone said like, oh, one of the easiest ways to use your trailer brakes. This allows you to go to lock your rear wheels, kind of. It allows you to get a deeper pivot on it, keeping the entire trailer still. I think we cut that hard. Let it roll back in, and then we'll slowly pull this end in. It might be a little too early. You may have to back it in when we'll pull it out. Yeah, we'll have to pull it out one more time. Actually, maybe not. I put right on it. Now we're on it. I'm not happy with that. I mean, we're going to straighten it up as best we can. Now, the one thing I do like about it is that some of the... Some of the maps first gear again. Oh my god, I'm definitely putting a bigger engine in this next time. Some of the drop-offs in the new map, they're building it now where you can actually, you have to back, you can back into the actual dock doors. Like I'll kind of demonstrate it here a little bit, where you'll, you'll sort of like, they stop you there, but like in real life, and you know, then you actually back into the, you'll back into where your dock doors are, in this case the concrete back there and you'll just lock your put your park truck and park 
And of course I stole the engine, not trying to get it forward. I told you that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're getting eight. That's what we're gonna be having for the next time. We have a bigger engine. But we are here, dropped off on time. Let's shut down the engine brake. And let's step outside of here so we can get them to unload the truck for us. And that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and as always, I'll see you next video.